Hello and welcome to today's videocast presentation, a practical approach to understanding, prioritizing, and responding to IT security risks. My name is Andy Briney, Vice President and Group Publisher of Tech Target. These days we hear a lot about security pros comparing themselves to firefighters. They spend a lot of time responding to virus outbreaks or plugging holes in databases or applications only after a breach has happened. They understand the need to be more proactive when it comes to security, but they're really not sure how to do that. We're here today to talk about the concept of proactive or predictive security with Pat Clausen, Chairman and CEO of Lumention Security. Welcome, Pat. Thanks for having me, Andy. So it seems like many enterprises today are in this constant cat and mouse game when it comes to security threats. They've already got these security solutions in place like firewalls, antivirus systems, intrusion detection. So why is it that organizations continue to face this uphill battle when it comes to combating threats? Well, it's a good question. I think people need to understand a few things if they really understand why it's, why it's like that. One of the first things people should get in their mind is that information security is not something that can be solved by somebody buying a nice little black box and putting it on their network and therefore they are always safe. You know, that just doesn't exist. The other thing that they need to understand is that the threat landscape that we've seen has evolved. You know, five, six, seven years ago, there wasn't a person who hadn't heard of Code Red, Blaster, and NIMDA. They were impacting networks and taking them down. Well, the landscape isn't quite like that anymore. What you're seeing today are very targeted, specific attacks by a well-funded adversary against a particular company. They don't want you to know they're there. So as a result, they're there trying to garner data that they think is of value. So landscape's changing. Companies need to change as well to better follow that. So why are these technologies not valuable against threats? Well, I think in some respects, it's because of what they do. The, the traditional technologies as we see them today are, are reactive technologies. They're technologies that are focused on once we've identified something to be bad, well then we create what we call signature to block that and keep it from happening. That's good once you know it's bad. The question is, how do you deal with what you don't know about? And these are the types of technologies that Lou mentioned security is focused on. And we're referring to those today as positive or proactive security. The technologies that allow you to take control, control of a known good environment and keep it that way instead of trying to guess what's known to be, what, what will be bad in the future. So can you give me a real world example? I'll give it a shot. You know, I think there's there are probably a couple. One good one is if you're having a private party and you have a bouncer at the door, you have a defined list of people that are allowed in and anyone outside that list doesn't get in. Very similar example to a corporation who has a defined list of applications and operating systems that are good and healthy and they only allow those things to run. They don't allow other things on their network which can subject risk to their corporation. So you're basically saying to the enterprise IT guy that, look, you don't need to worry about what you don't know anymore. Absolutely. I mean, in an ideal environment, we don't want to try and guess what's going on that's bad around us. We want to live in a good, known, safe environment, and that's what we're trying to pass on to our corporate customers. So it sounds like this solution is a, a good solution for so-called zero-day threats. SANS Institute reported a while back that vulnerabilities are in the open and being exploited on your networks for up to a year before they're made public. So yeah, we can deal with that zero day, that very tight time frame once they're known. The question is, what do you do about the time frame before they're known? And that's where the coupling of Lumension Security Suite is so powerful. Not only do we deal with the zero day and we're known to be the best in the world at that, what we're trying to help customers with is a year before they're known. And that's a combination of two technologies known as application control, which is what we talked about, the proactive or positive, defining your list of applications and locking that down, and the device control, which helps prevent data leakage, either from internal sources or external sources. So how does this proactive model work in an endpoint security environment? Uh, that's, uh, you know, again, very good question. And the thing to remember about security, whether it's positive or it's reactive, is it's part of an architecture. There's no one solution that solves all your problems. Our government world today, both ours and foreign governments, use contractors very heavily. They have to set up policies about how and if they're allowed to access their networks. Great new technologies like network access control starts to play a role in that and defines where they're going to be allowed. The other thing that we're, we're able to do, which is important, is start to enforce things we refer to as mandatory baselines. If somebody's going to be allowed on your network and they're a known contractor, well then we can also impose rules upon them about the level and the standard of the devices that they're plugging into our network. And that's another very important part of what Lou mentioned security provides. Well, this brings up another point. It seems like there's 50 or 75 solutions in the market right now that are professing to be endpoint or, or NAC-based solutions. 
Uh, but what makes yours any different from those? What our customers have been asking us for is say, look, I am subject to risk. I understand that. But I have too many vendors that don't communicate with each other. It's very hard for me as a customer to establish a consistent policy when I have to try and make it, that happen through 10, 12 different companies. They're asking us to bring multiple technologies under one hood, one management infrastructure, one reporting infrastructure, so you can report holistically against standards and policies, whether they're government imposed or internally imposed. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the discovery process. How does that work with your solution? Well, one of the things that Lumension has as a part of its suite, particularly its vulnerability management technology, is the coupling of an active scanning technology with our patch and remediation technology. And what this allows is an executive dashboard environment where we have a constant, very active vulnerability assessment taking place, whether or not there's an agent on the device. So it gives the C-levels the ability to be in control and be notified whenever a new device, a router, a printer, a switch, potentially a, a laptop, a desktop, or a handheld device, starts to impact their network or touch it. Inventory it properly and then give them a risk profile. So you, you mentioned compliance and obviously that's a big issue for a lot of corporations today. Um, in fact, many IT security purchases are kind of put under the microscope of how well they fulfill different regulations or, or compliance requirements. So first of all, would you agree that that's the case? And, and how does Lumension's suite of products help with uh, compliance initiatives? Absolutely, it's driving it. There's no doubt, domestically and internationally. Our focus is about providing corporations with the ability to take a known standard in just that template. There's a couple out there today that people recognize. SCAP, it's being delivered by NIST in our U.S. federal government. Uh, the payment card industry standard, the PCI standard, the ability to take these standards, ingest it, and then automatically enforce that profile. And that's what we want to try and deliver to our customer. It's not a very manual, painful methodology. It's a flexible architecture that can take known standards, ingest them, and then apply that policy automatically. So then do you produce reports on the back end? Absolutely. You know, the reporting engine that we have is a full-blown data warehouse that allows our customers not just to print pretty reports against standards, but when they notice exceptions, the ability to drill down to the attribute within that report, a true data warehousing technology. So we're about out of time today, but I would like to thank Pat Clausen, CEO of Lamention Security, for joining us today to talk about proactive security. If you'd like more information about proactive security or IT risk management, please visit Lamention's website at www.lamention.com. Thank you for joining us today. This is Andy Briney.